My name is Anshu Kesarwani and I work with Riverbed Technical Support. Today we are going to learn how to set up a basic iSCSI Steel Fusion deployment. Without further ado, let's look at the common terminologies before jumping into configuration steps. Okay. In Steel Fusion deployment, all configuration is done at the Steel Fusion core and very minimal configuration is done on the edge that is just to connect to the core. Rest all configuration is done on the core and that is being pushed to the edge. No auto discovery. That means edge and core doesn't auto discover itself. You need to explicitly configure the devices to connect to each other. There is one-to-one -one association between an edge to the core. That means one edge can only talk to one core at a time. And there is many-to-one association between core and edge. What that means is one core can serve many different branches having edge devices and also no optimization takes place on steel fusion although we rely on steelhead for doing bandwidth reduction for our R disk traffic which happens to be on port 7950 to 7954 here is a sample steel fusion setup where we are having multiple branch locations like New York, San Francisco, Rome, Singapore, all having one or multiple edge devices running in HA connected to the steel fusion core in the data center where we have the storage which our core will be presenting it to the respective branch locations. Let's look at steel fusion setup. First step is to choose IQ and name onto our core, which will be allowed on the backend storage. This IQ and number has to be globally unique. Then we set up the SAN array. We add a portal to the core. Once the portal is added to the core, uh, we connect to the target SAN array. This will automatically find all the LUNs which are being presented to this core. Last but not the least, then we map the LUNs to the edge. And optionally, there are some additional features like pinning or pre-populating a mapped LAN. Let's see what happens on the S side. On the core, first we assign the IQ and name, which we have seen in the previous slide. Set up CHAP authentication if required. And then we map the LANs to this specific edge. On the edge, the only configuration is we enter the IP of the core and just provide the edge ID. One thing to remember is this edge identifier that we use is case sensitive. Then we can connect the client iSCSI initiator to this edge IP. Let's jump into the demo. Here I have my steel fusion core. This is my edge appliance. So right now, Nothing is configured on the edge. Edge is not connected to the core. Also, if you see, core is also not connected to the backend storage. Okay, let's start the configuration. So the first step is we set the IQ, which we later allow it on the backend storage. So for the purpose of this demo, I've already configured my backend storage to allow access to the specific LUNs based on this IQ. So go to iSCSI portal configuration where we add the backend storage. So in my case, it's 10.1.50.100. I add my iSCSI portal. Portal is connected, which is fine. Then we add the target. Target is also connected. So that means my core has connectivity to the backend storage. It should ideally now see all the LUNs which is projected to this. We go to the LUNs page. We go ahead and add a LUN. So I've already allowed access to a couple of LUNs to this core appliance. So this is one of the LAN. Okay. So my core is connected to the LANs, 
but till now we haven't connected edge so how do we connect that we go to steel fusion edge page add a steel fusion edge so this is the edge identifier and just make sure that this is a case sensitive field we add the steel fusion edge okay Although we have added on the core, this is not connected because uh, we are not done with the configuration on the edge appliance. We go to the edge. The only configuration that we need to do here is just remember what edge identifier we have given on the core. Needs to match the case also. We add the core. We now have connectivity between the edge and the core. But we cannot see the LUNs because we need to map the LUNs that is there on the core to this edge. Okay, how do we do that? We go to the LUNs page. Go to edge mapping. So what I'm doing is I'm mapping this LUN to the edge. We do it for both the LUNs. So right now it says the LUN is inaccessible. How to fix that? We go to Steel Fusion Edge page. We go to LUNs. There is an ACL on every LUN. And we need to allow access based on groups or individual initiators. For the sake of this lab, what I'm doing is I'm allowing access to all. But you can very well restrict access to a specific initiator or an initiator group. Okay. The moment we have done that, we can see that the LUNs are accessible. Okay, so this concludes the basic setup, how we configure the Steel Fusion Edge and the core appliances and how to project a LUN from our data center all the way to the branch location. Thank you for watching.